Hello there and welcome to a bit of a unique uh, style of video right here. I've got Pike and Werewolf and I'm going to make this the Werewolf run, but it's also going to be special in that this is going to be a DIY build style run where we're going to learn how to build a character, um, specific build run thing. What? Uh, <laughs> from scratch. So we have Werewolf and Pike. Now normally I would pair Pike with Werewolf, but I'm going to give you guys the benefit of the doubt that when you start your runs, you're not going to get double speed skulls, and you're not going to get a good partner for Werewolf straight away. So I'm going to destroy him, and we're going to try and find a good partner for him later. Draft stone and bottled embers. Not amazing items for Werewolf either. Um, these are kind of meh, especially the draft stone, because it doesn't actually work for him. Take our buff. When swapping, temporarily get attack speed. Attack power, rather. So the gist of this kind of run, this video in total, uh, is to kind of go about my run from scratch because I haven't had a lot of experience with Werewolf since the full release. I used to play him a lot in Early Access, but with all the other new skulls and all the other new things that I can I can play and do, um, I haven't really put much attention on Werewolf, and now I figure it'd be a good time to play him, but also show you guys how I would go about building him. Um, iron shoes a bit of cold in the first item room. We're not getting many skull rooms. Normally I would take skull rooms, but because we're getting a lot of item rooms, we'll just take those instead and get a good head start on hopefully some economy, some money. Because the two things I need to try and balance for the most part, well, I say balance, but I'm not very good at it, is my fragments and my gold. Because I need to get money to get decent items. Usually around Act 3 or 4, I've got my uh, skulls upgraded to Legendary, or at least the main one. And I can then start taking uh, item rooms to compensate. Now, we did pick up Hate Stone just there. Hate Stone is a pretty good find. Even though it does magic damage, it has Madness on it, which Madness on Werewolf has always been um, a pretty good option. However, I'm concerned... Oh, I'm so concerned. Okay, we're selling it. We're selling it. We're selling it. There you go. There's a there's a good head start. Oh, that felt so bad. <laughs> it's what we do, though. It's what we do. We come into the shop and we take a look at our options. I'm concerned that Madness Werewolf with this particular build may not work out too well. Just because he focuses on lots of physical damage, maybe I want to build him with raw physical. I could go Madness. I 100% could go Madness. And what I'm going to do is actually keep Hate Stone here as a viable option. I'm going to keep my, my, my windows open, my doors open. I want to keep options available. But in the shop right now, we have the standard issue sword and we have the bow. And I've always been a strong advocate for the Kalean items early on because there's a somewhat decent chance that you'll find the insignia. And the insignia is probably always a must get if you already have the money for it. Um because that way you'll get some good uh, income while you're going about your run. So we sell off the draft stone. We still don't have enough um, bottled embers or iron shoes. Now this increases magic attack by 35%. It has alchemy and blizzard, 20% chance to freeze. But this just gives our attacks a regular chance to burn enemies. Now they're both kind of meh. But I'm going to sell off the shoes just for that little bit of extra money. Pick up the sword for the extra physical attack and move on. I could have grabbed the bow. Honestly, both options there would have been just fine. Um, but I want to hit a little bit harder. Just with my general attacks for now. If the bow presents itself again, I'll definitely take it. Let's get some burst going on this lady. She's about to do her ultimate move. Is she? Or are you going to... Yeah, there you go. Are you going to sit there thinking about it? Boom, look at that. <laughs> now, we've got a very interesting crossroads. We have Skeleton Pike... We have Lie Weasel, which I've never really used Lie Weasel at all. And we have Rake of Fury. Now, I said before that we were keeping our options open for Madness. And thankfully, because of our Clitch's Brave Sacrifice, we have enough fragments that we don't have to worry too much about picking up Pike right now. So I'm going to take the Rake of Fury. And we have two in Madness. That's still... Two in Madness isn't enough to make me say to myself, right, it's a Madness run. But Rake of Fury on its own is a great item, and having two Madness is a great start. Now, we're going to come into Arachne, and luckily, we're actually in an amazing position, because we can upgrade Werewolf once. Let me quickly go over this. When enemies are defeated, increases movement speed and dash distance by 30%, and his Beast Sleep now causes a bleed. But 
we now have the option of upgrading him a second time into Unique straight away. Pow, look at that. What a, what a chad. What a, what a beast. The Alpha Werewolf. Uh, his new effect that's been added to him is it increases his critical rate by up to 30% in proportion to the distance moved. So Mr. Werewolf is all about that movement. He's all about that, that distance. So that gauge that you see down there is constantly filling up based on how much I'm moving around. If I stop, it starts to go down. If I keep moving, it's going up. So you can kind of think of that bar as a critical meter. Bam, maximum criticals. Look at this, crits everywhere, crits everywhere. Whoa, lots of crits. Keep moving, keep moving. Lots of crits, ooh, fun, right? Uh, his, be <laughs> his beast sleep increases crit rate by 20% for two seconds, leaping forward while invulnerable, dealing damage, inflicting bleed. Three stacks, exactly. Hunt, we have inherited hunt. So it charges forward, bites the enemy, deals physical damage. Affected enemies take 100% more damage for three seconds. When enemies are defeated with this skill, the cooldown is reset. So hunt is kind of how we want to start based on what I have uh, read just there. We want to hunt enemies, start leaping them, start hitting them, start jumping up and down, go all over the place, keep that meter filled. Very mobile way of playing. Um, and I didn't mention it, but his swap, Rush of the Wind creates multiple lacerating gusts in its path, dealing magical damage. There's the magic component. I'm not too fussed on the magic damage aspect of it, but it's nice to have, you know? Now, obviously, this run has had some good luck already with Arc Lich, but it doesn't stop the way that we're building, so I choose to believe that we can just keep going with this run as it is, and I don't need to reset my werewolf because Arklich decided to show up and, and sacrifice himself. Coming down here, my goal now is to continue to try and find... Let me just hunt that. Wow, that didn't destroy the barrel. Amazing. I'm able to kill enemies and not destroy the natural environment. Execution axe. Fantastic. So the build is kind of expanding. Because now that we have execution axe, we have more physical. We have one in execute, one in demolition. Demolition is also pretty good for a a strong physical boy run like this. Um, in the next shop, all of these are kind of meh, I don't really care. The armor is okay if I had the uh, insignia, but I do not. What I might do, I have the option of selling bottled embers. Bottled embers will sell for 350 gold. It costs 230 to restock. So if I do sell the embers, I'm net positive. So we'll do a reroll. And we have ring of wind, explosive ointment and thorny boots. These aren't too bad. Thorny Boots is, of course, another physical damage boost. Uh, inflicts damage to enemies that you land on after jumping. I might be doing a lot of jumping, so this might be really good. Ring of Wind in general is also a fairly decent item. Attack speed increase, movement speed increase. If we go the Madness route, Ring of Wind will just be adding extra uh, attack speed and making us very fast indeed. So I'm going to sell Bottled Embers because I can't afford either. I can just barely afford the Thorny Boots, and honestly... Ring of Wind isn't an actual madness item, so I don't feel too bad by skipping it. And I'm going to take the Thorny Boots for that extra physical damage. Because... What? If we do a lot of dashing, we dash and land on an enemy, Thorny Boots triggers as though it's a jump. If it's going to let me... There we go. I'm getting hit, but I'm trying to demonstrate that. <laughs> Being silly, of course. Um... So it's not... It's actually got some decent synergy for the boy. Look at this. We're now carving our way through enemies. Taking skull rooms. Man. Damage is insane. Keeping that critical meter up. I want to keep moving. Keep schmooving. I'm probably going to get hit occasionally. But that doesn't matter. Because we're going to get a lot of health back in Act 1 anyway. Ooh. Hunter? Yeah, nah. It's a balanced skull. It's a good skull. And it also focuses on physical. But I can afford to skip it for now and get the uh, the bone fragments. I swap out from uh, Werewolf into Little Skull coming into Yggdrasil because I like the swap in at the start of a fight to get some extra damage out there. Um, I'm considering, do I hunt straight away? You know what, why not? Do some moving and schmoving, get that big damage going. First phase is already down. <laughs> hunt! Um, if you've seen my, like, strongest abilities in the game uh, video from way back in the early access days, Hunt is broken. 
<laughs> Hunt is an insanely powerful uh, skill. Because it quite literally just doubles the damage enemies take for a short time. Uh, Fire Spirit Salamander? Nah. Salamander can stick around for now as just some fun passive damage, but we're not going to be keeping him long term. Can't upgrade to Legendary yet, obviously. Yo, check out that 999 gold, though. Fancy. We're going to come in and take some more Skull Rooms and keep working our way towards... Oh. Getting our Legendary Boy. Maid Rooms. Always a lot of fun. I'm trying to jump up and down and uh, do lots of movement stuff, which is probably not the smartest idea when you've got Plate Maids. But that's just me being silly once again. Grab these Fragments from the Harpy. Another very lucky find. I'm going to destroy that wind totem thingy. Ent? Nah. Ent's not going to be our secondary. I'm looking for a decent speed skull to keep as a secondary. Destroy this. But at the same time... Lady. Now, can I... Oh, wait. These guys down here. I should be able to... Yeah. <laughs> lots of... Lots of dashing and, and moving. This uh, The werewolf has actual vertical gain on his dash. He goes up a little bit, so you can kind of use his double dash as a, a pseudo extra jump. Now, in this shop here, we have Broken Mana Engine, mm, which I'm always super tempted to take. We also have Hunter's Boots, though. Dashing causes an arrow to fall and deal physical damage. We are going to be moving a lot. The idea behind Werewolf is that he's going to be dashing, running and moving, and having the extra damage from the arrows might be very nice. However, at the same time, we have Sprint, Mana Tech, and 30% skill cooldown increase, which just means extra B-Sleeps, extra Hunts. Hmm, I'm going to opt to do that instead, because right now our skills, for all that our basic attack does a lot of good damage, our skills are going to be doing just so much for us, and being able to spam them more? Yes, please. Yes, please. Get the money, take a Skull Room. As many Skull Rooms as we can. My goal is to get... Ooh. Fancy movement. Um, legendary ASAP. But it also gives me a chance to find my second Skull, whatever that might be. I haven't really considered... Uh, I haven't thought it all the way through what I want. I'm just kind of going by ear and, well, by eye and seeing what I get. Water Skull is not it, though. <laughs> Water Skull is not it. Next Adventurer fight. I'm going to focus on the Archer Girl first, as I find her to be the easiest to hold down and kill like that. She's dead already. That's amazing. And uh, there you go. <laughs> Hunt is an amazing skill. Uh, our rewards... Mummy, Griffin, Elementalist, Blessing. Look at that. How sad is that? If this was, an, if this is an Oberon run, I'm going to be mad. But I am going to destroy Mummy. He's worth 11 Bone Fragments. Give me those Bone Fragments. There is a chance now, if we keep getting Lucky Skull Rooms, that we can get uh, Legendary by the end of the Sisters fight. Although, an item room here, maybe we won't. Maybe we won't. We do have... Oh, bleed you up there. He's dead. He's dead. Now, Swamp is on one of our items. I forget which item it's on, but Swamp is really handy dandy for taking care of a lot of these wave rooms. As you can see, they're all exploding in green mist. The way Swamp works is that enemies are being poisoned. My regular attacks have a chance to poison. And when they die while poisoned, they explode into green mist, which does a big burst of damage. And it also poisons other nearby enemies. So it has a chain reaction effect. Uh, we picked up the Coward's Cloak. Coward's Cape? Coward's Cape. Increases dash cooldown speed by 100% and dashing distance by 80% if there are four or more enemies around us. I'm kind of sad now that I didn't take the Hunter Spirits, but you can't predict this kind of outcome. But this ju does just mean that in big cluster situations, dashing is going to be even more effective. Moving on. Now we've just got given one room option and it's a gold room. This is okay. This is fine. We're probably not going to get Legendary Werewolf by the end of here, of this, of this act. But that's okay. I think Werewolf might be kind of hard for some people to control um, if you're not used to his movement because it's very fast, very uh, erratic almost. Ooh. Okay. Okay. We, ooh, we have 
All right, Madness is, is kind of revealing its hand right now. Maybe Madness is the way to go. And also, we have Rider Skull up here. I'll take Rider for now, because getting rid of Little Bone... Little Bone isn't going to cost us any fragments, because even if we get rid of him in a regular room, he doesn't sell for anything. This is just a free Speed Skull pickup. Go back to Werewolf. Uh, Thief Armor is a god-tier item, especially on a, on a skull like this one that likes to do lots of rapid attacks. Now... Ah, uh, Berserker's Gauntlet is the real question. This puts us up to three madness. I'm gonna have to make some tough decisions and start selling off some stuff. Like, namely, the Fire Spirit that I wasn't planning on keeping anyway. How short are we? That's about, what, 460 gold short? Am I able to make up that difference by selling... Hmm, I'd have to sell two items either way. I could sell off the Coward's Cape as my first thing, because... It's a utility item entirely. The static isn't doing much for us. Mirage is nice, but this is utility. And for all that utility is nice, right now I'd rather take the option of getting uh, a damage build like, like Berserker's Gauntlet right here and get Madness powered up as opposed to worrying about utility just now. I'm confident in Act 2. If you're worried about getting through Acts and you want to hold on to your utility items and forsake the build, in brackets, quote brackets, you know, the build, Go for it. Some utility items like Warrior's Pauldrons are just too good to even, you know, get rid of for other items. If you want to hold on to utility, go for it. Now, looking at what I have left, I need to keep my Madness items. I want to keep my Broken Mana Engine. So the outliers are the Axe, the Boots, and the Sword. The Axe is just the best physical item. And the Boots and the Sword both give the same amount of physical attack. But obviously the Sword doesn't come with a secondary effect. So I'm going to get rid of the Sword. I also don't have the Insignia, so I'm not risking losing a Carlean item for money. I don't have the Insignia to begin with. This is okay. And now, the Madness Werewolf build is coming together. What do we have? Is it 4 Madness now? Let me just double check. It is 4 Madness. At 4 Madness... Whoop, don't go off the edge. Lots of move... Oh, don't... No, no, no. Is he going to bleed out? Oh, his bleed ran off. We got lucky and have another little NPC here that we can talk to. And we get Warrior. I'm going to leave Warrior there. I don't need to break him. I'm going to prove a point. Some people are still confused about why I leave skulls behind. Even if you talk to an NPC and he gives you a skull, you can just walk away and leave it. Oh my god. Oh, it's Yaksha. <laughs> yeah, this is okay. I'm actually going to manually destroy him. So now we've gone over. But this is okay, because if I do want to keep Ryder, I'm going to have to upgrade Ryder, because Ryder, Ryder getting his upgrade is pretty pretty clutch. Ryder's pretty useful. So even though I've now got my 100 fragments for Werewolf to go to Legendary, I now have to get another 130 fragments on top of that to get Ryder from Rare to Unique to Legendary. Um, so I'm going to take another Skull Room and see how I go. It might end up being that I only get Ryder to Unique, because getting the full 100 for a second Legendary is a pretty tall ask, you know? You, you have to get pretty lucky with your uh, Fragments in order to get two uh, lower Skulls upgraded all the way. It's much easier just to get something like, you know, Champion, Lich, Reaper, Yaksha, the guys that are already established as Legendary. So if I only stop with Ryder being at Unique, yeah, yeah, that might be the case. Because I do still want to take uh, some item rooms coming into Act 3 and 4 to try and build the rest of Madness. If I get 6 Madness early, then I most definitely will take, um, take some uh, Skull Rooms. Now, the Sisters fight, it's all about kind of just, I'm just going to take this a bit slow. Oh, jump, land, jump. You're playing jump rope with that. Going to attack this Sister. I dominantly want to wait until one comes in and then focus her, but I'm going to stop and take a minute and just show off how movement against the sisters is pretty handy. Run away. Lots of jumping. She does this attack three times. This last one is a triple stab. Gives me a chance to sit here and do this. I can just walk away from the regular jump. No, ah, I'm keeping an eye on where they are. One above me, one next to me most likely. What are they gonna do now? Pince. Try and stick in the middle-ish, I find. Oh, I can move away from that. Gives me a chance to hit them both. There we go, lovely. All right, one's in the back. This one's here. They always start with the regular slash. I can sidestep her a bunch here, get a few extra cuts in, yay. She might do her- oh, dash away. There we go, she might do her little lightning move. You can dash through that. Um, 
if I get to see it again, I'll demonstrate it. But you can just dash through that attack. Shoutouts to my my guide series video part two where I cover the sisters fight. If you want to get more in depth, jump, land, jump, deal with that. We. It's pretty good that I can keep moving around and keep my werewolf's meter nice and high. I might go for the kill on this one now. There we go. Die. I didn't dash through it, but you can dash through it, trust me. <laughs> I'm moving around, keeping that meter built. I'm gonna wait until she's... There we go. Oh, she's doing the waves. Dash through the wave, do a beast sleep. Dash through the wave, do a beast sleep. Oh, I want to get him over here to where she is. Uh, Werewolf's a pretty big boy, so I'm getting clipped by that. Maybe I shouldn't do that. If she does it again, I might just stand in a safe spot. Oh, here we go. Jump up and double dash. Not get hit by that. Uh-huh. Now, this right here, you can actually just walk to get away from it, but if you're worried, I do suggest that you still dash to escape this one because you can't always be sure if she's going to do the yeah the waves and it's much easier to avoid the waves if you're dashing already no we saw this attack lady no but you can take the leona sisters fight very slow very casual very very methodical you don't have to rush if you rush you might risk getting you know hit more than it's worth i typically rush because i'm just i'm very used to this fight by this point very used to it um, Grudge Stone, it's basically just all magic. It does have Execute on it, which, uh, we do have one of on the Execution Axe already, and since we're low on items and don't have our last two slots filled, we'll just take it anyway. I mean, there's no harm in taking items, but I am keeping an eye on the Inscription options. Um, not that I'm, <laughs> not that I'm thinking about going Execution now that I've already invested four into Madness, but it's nice to have as a, a secondary thing, you know? If I can get two or three execute to, to complement madness, maybe I could do that. I don't know. We'll see what happens with the items. Let's upgrade werewolf to legendary. There he is. Big bio wolf. Look at him. Ooh, he's so chaticus. He's so badass. The eternal werewolf. So, movement speed increased by... Uh, movement speed and dash distance increased by 10%. Same effect. Uh, when enemies are defeated, increases movement speed and dash distance by 30% for three seconds. That's the same. Increases crit rate and crit damage by up to 30% in proportion to distance moved. Was it 30% before or has that number gone up? I think it's gone up. Either way, it's more or less the same idea. The more you move, the meter builds up. Uh, the meter is now nice and green. And we've got the uh, the added benefit of... Um, oh, that's the thorny boots. That little 18, the little numbers that you're seeing. Yeah, it's it's kind of cool that his dash is considered being airborne for a moment. It's, it's, it's nice. I like it. Um... And the rest of his abilities, Rush of the Wild, everything is mostly the same except uh, the lacerations uh, deal damage in its path every second for five seconds, dealing magic damage. Let me show that off real quick. Yeah. So you can see that green lacerating slash effect that lingers and follows me around. Very nice, just extra passive damage. Nothing that you need to really think about, but it's just nice. Now, Bee Sleep. Uh, leaps forward while invulnerable, dealing physical damage, inflicting bleed. For every enemy it hits, it increases attack speed and crit rate by 3% for 4 seconds. Maximum of 30% increase. Um, I wasn't planning on this because I hadn't used Beast Sleep at Legendary Werewolf before. Last time it was the, uh, the predation, predator move that, that heals you. So I've accidentally synergized an attack speed increasing ability with a madness build. This is good. This is good though. That's nice. Unintended, but very nice. <laughs> and Hunt, uh, affected enemies take 150% more damage. It is still the same otherwise, but the, the total damage taken effect has increased. Oh, while I'm here, I can upgrade Rider. I have enough bones. So at the moment, what I'm going to do, I've shown off Rider before, but very quickly, um, he leaves fire behind. It's, it's fantastic. He does cool stuffs. His bike. He just does rider stuff. This isn't a rider video, I'm sorry. <laughs> We're gonna take the item room. I'm going to try and prioritize uh, item rooms at this stage. I shouldn't have done that, even though I, I I did it. I know I shouldn't have done it, but I did it because I wanted to swap in and, and come out with Werewolf. Um, plus, this just gets me a chance to show you off down here. 
which is a place that you never have to come down into. But, you know, the enemies drop money. They drop quartz. If you care, then you can come down here and deal with them. Otherwise, I recommend not doing it because it's a pain in the butt. But, like I was saying, I want to prioritize item rooms a little bit more now. However, if skull rooms are presented, I will take them. That guy fell. Look at that bleed damage because the, uh, the hunt damage increase is adding on to the bleed effect and making bleeds tick for more. Isn't that wonderful? He should die down there. He should die down there because of the uh, the orb. If enemies fall down, they're not taking damage from it anymore? <gasps> They've changed it. Oh, that sucks. They used to take damage from that. I've never noticed that. Well, there you go. Try and not knock them off the edge. <laughs> Try and kill them before they go over. Ancient Incense Burn are fantastic. Now, here's the crossroads. We have item room versus skull room. I'm going to take the item room. Um, a lot of other times in my videos or runs, I would just keep taking uh, skull rooms. But the idea is, this is me showcasing how I think people uh, might get some good success out of building their own runs. Get one decent strong skull. If you uh, were lucky enough to get, say, like, you know, a base legendary like Lich or Reaper or something like that early in your run, then you're already halfway there. In that case, you can focus on skull rooms and get your secondary skull upgrade to legendary. Woohoo, yay for you. It's kind of free at that point, you know? You've got, like, one free legendary and you don't have to worry about the second one. Excellent. Awesome. Fantastic. But if that's not the case, Gold Incense Burner, uh, let me very quickly... Let's get rid of Grudge Stone. I don't care about the Execute and its magic anyway. It's, it's whatever. Cool. <laughs> um, if you do manage to get a, uh, a strong legendary, then grats. You're able to get your second skull to legendary straight away. If my second skull was champion right now, we're sitting on easy street. However, we're not. So I've, I've put a little bit into getting Ryder to unique. A unique secondary skull is good enough. They don't both have to be legendary, but if it's something you want to do, you most definitely can do it. But I'm getting very close to getting uh, madness to full six, which means that I might just go back to getting um, uh, skull room soon anyway. But in this shop, we have Jagamon Thorn in front of us, which means I will have to sell off something. We don't even have a Quintessence yet. Uh, Troll would be nice, but I'm not going to be able to afford it with the money that I have right now. I want to get Jagamon Thorn. So I'm going to get rid of the Ancient Incense because it is literally doing nothing for us. Mm, I'm still short on money. I didn't crunch the numbers. I wasn't even looking. So I'm, I'm worried because I'm going to have to sell off something else. I want to keep Gold Incense because increasing our gold gain right now is very useful for finishing off our items coming into the rest of the run. What I might do, because everything else is dealing uh, physical synergy and madness synergy, is get rid of the broken mana engine. It's a very good item. And if you have the option to keep it, keep it. But for the sake of me showing this off, I want to take it and get that five madness. Jagamon Thorn, 10 additional true damage on every basic attack. So you're seeing some little white tens. If you see a white 10 there, that's Jagamon Thorn, that's what it does. We're going to be attacking very fast thanks to Madness, and it just it just adds up extra damage. Um, in addition, it gives us one stack of Fortress, which is, you know, that's neato. You know, it's okay. It's nothing super amazing. Clown is also here as a potential option for a Speed Skull. Right, we have a Raw Money Room versus a Skull Room. I would still prioritize a Skull Room here, I suppose, instead of... Um, instead of the uh, item room, just because, you know, if I'm if I'm getting items, that's fine. If I'm getting money, that's also good. We do have gold incense burner, but you know, it's not as exciting, you know? I'd rather, I'd rather have a chance at finding a fun skull, which we get bomber. Look at that. <laughs> bomber would be okay as a speed skull, but he is mostly magic damage. That is something I have to consider. The build, the build is dominantly physical. Rider does physical damage, which is good for us. It means that we can get good synergy. Uh, maybe if Samurai showed up, uh, that's another good option. Champion is okay too, as I've said already. Just killing these guys off. We're doing lots of fast, good damage, which I'm happy about. Apparently jumping doesn't count as movement. Go figure. Look at that. The meter still goes down. Dark Paladin, Mr. DP. Nice to see you, my guy. Thank you for your, your charitable donation to the uh, the fragments. Yo, this buff, this this bug is still here. That's my buff. That's my buff. That's like 
come unstuck and it's just lingering near that door. It was like that in early access too. It's it's fun to see that that bug is still here. <laughs> Killing off more enemies. I'm getting bopped because I'm being lazy about my dodges. I'm I'm expecting that I can just sit here and cleave my way through enemies easy peasy without a care in the world. And uh overconfidence is uh a slow and insidious killer, as they say. Don't get overconfident. Don't get... Don't get kitty cock. You know? I shouldn't rephrase it that way. I should rephrase that. Don't get cocky, kid. You know? Don't say it the way that Beale says it. Oh, my God. Go back. All right. This room was a slog. I always forget about these enemies that spawn behind me. I don't normally forget in speedruns, though. But in a regular run, go figure, I forget. Alright, coming into third adventure fight. There's no healer, woohoo! A somewhat simple fight. So the guys that are going to be getting hit the most are going to be the paladin and the sword because they're the least mobile. These are the guys that are going to sit still long enough for me to actually... Whoa, don't get hit by that. To actually do some damage. So I'm going to prioritize them. Stay away from that. Get away from that. Get some big damage in. Dash. Oh, oh, dash away. Oh, dash away again. Oh, he's powering up. Can I... Can I... Interrupt us? No, I can't, but I dashed away anyway. Last second, I want to dash away and not get hit by that. I'm getting hit by a lot of stuff, though. Time to come and chill. It's time to chill. It's time to chill. There's no healer in the group, so we can chill. I want to bait that ninja to do a move. Oh, oh. There we go. If the ninja is on one side of the screen, then I'm, I'm safe. I'm okay. When the ninja is visible and you can see where he is, that's fine. Right now, I wasn't keeping a very good eye on that, though. Okay. He's over here. Let's bleed him up. Hurt you a little bit, buddy. Not the cleanest Act 3 adventurer fight I've ever done, but we still made it through. <laughs> we still made it through. Uh, none of these are particularly good. Ogre is okay if you want to take it for a defensive item just to, you know, offset the amount of damage you could be taking in certain rooms, especially if you like to go a little bit crazy, like I've been doing with the werewolf. Uh, you might get, you know, clipped by random stuff. However, I'm going to break down the skull, because at 54, yeah, we're actually pretty decently on track to get Legendary Rider. Oh, 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 everything's breaking. Oh, Swamp, Swamp. Get him, Swamp, get him, Swamp. Yeah. Let me destroy this. And not... I just jumped back up into it. Why would I jump up into it? Why would I jump up into it? Oh, look at that power. And... Hit him with a big damage. Hit him with a sauce. Put some extra mayonnaise on it. Ooh. We're all over the screen. We are playing peak werewolf right now. We are all over the screen. Item room versus skull room. Take the item room. Take the item room. We have plenty of time to get uh, right to legendary... At this rate, it's it's kind of guaranteed as long as I don't get, you know, super, 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 super messed over on RNG. But we should be okay. Oh, I'm just going to casually run away from these guys. Dash, dash. That's fine. Ba, 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 ba. Kill you. Item is infinite burner. Okay, we're taking the infinite bone. Um... <laughs> <laughs> That's actually a really nice concession for the mana engine that we got rid of. There's mana engine right away. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, there's our last madness. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, wait, there's Harpy up here. Oh, my God. <laughs> there's a lot of excitement really quickly. Uh, if you were bored, that woke you up, I hope. Um, right, so we have the last madness item. Madness, madness, not madness. Madness, 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 not madness. Okay, so... We have the axe versus the boots versus gold incense burner. I could afford to hold on to the incense burner for a little bit longer just to try and squeeze in some powerful items later on, like if we find Master Fighter and stuff like that. But for now, I can get rid of Thorny Boots. Out of all my options, I think this is the weakest. 25% physical attack is nice. The jumping damage is is neat. It's 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 cool. But look at it's 20 it's 20 damage roughly 28 damage yeah it's not it's not breaking the bank it's not doing anything amazing so i'm gonna replace the boots right 
Now, options. I could now potentially get rid of maybe the gold incense and take broken mana engine, but since I've got infinite bone already giving me a lot of cooldown shenanigans, I don't really need to worry about it. I can afford to miss it. Instead, I'm going to come up here and take Harpy as our quintessence because we haven't had one this whole time. Harpy increases attack speed by 30% as a base effect. Fantastic. And then when you activate it, it increases attack speed by 30% and movement speed by 50%. By the way, just to showcase if you didn't read it, Madness is now at 6 out of 6. So when inflicting damage, we are stacking up 125. Look at that attack speed. That secondary buff down there next to my uh, Resurrect that has the 125 next to it, that's Madness. That's how you can tell when it's stacking up. So when it resets, it goes down 10, 20, 30. It's stacking up, probably because we're hitting two enemies at the same time. But that's the idea. Look how fast we're swinging. And then if we add Harpy onto it... It's kind of glitching out by the looks of it. <laughs> it's kind of glitching out. And we are moving faster, which is just really good for Werewolf. Werewolf likes moving faster. Let's go. Item room. Let's do it. Oh, the, uh, the Alchemist room. Lovely. Die, big man. We're going to get some... Actually, I'll stay over this side. Activate Harpy. Oh, I'll cleave him down. Cleave him down. Jump up and bait the dash. These guys always do a charge when they first spawn. After they've done the charge, they're pretty easy. Look at that. Always bait the charge, though. If, they, if they're going to dash at you, you can, like, dash through them, jump up and go over like I did. You can always avoid it. There's Ice Scale Spoilers. You don't want Ice Scale Spoilers. We're now just kind of looking for broken legendary type items that can uh, add some extra quality to our build. Maybe some Sylphid Wings for that extra mobility to really give Werewolf some 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 range, some crazy all over the screen nonsense. Oh, lots of explosions all over the screen. I want to avoid them, buddy. Uh, you could take Warrior's Pauldrons on this as well now. Like, now that we've got six Madness, the build is kind of done, and we have free reign to do kind of whatever we want with the rest of our, our item options. I didn't want to go into the trap right there. I was trying to... With Werewolf, it can be a little bit dangerous to... Ow. To leap around. Vampire Fang? Ooh. Spring and Sorcery. Restore one HP every three kills. No. <laughs> That's a meme. I'm not going to take Vampire Fang. Some people really like Vampire Fang. I think that in theory it's a good item, but I don't know. It's just never... Whoa, lots of leaping. I went way further than I wanted to, but you know what? Let's let's go up here then. Let's do these guys. Woo, we're here. Lead that guy. Come down here. Oh, he's already swinging. He was preemptive with his swing. Smart ogre. There we go. Dead. You lived? How did you live? Die. Ha! <laughs> Bones. Ah, uh, there's a clown. At this point, I probably wouldn't replace Ryder anyway. I mean, maybe if Champion showed up, but I think we're kind of locked in, yeah? Is my meter going to decrease while the animation's playing out, while the cutscene's happening? I'd like my meter to be full, please. Ah, oh, it went down a little bit. Okay. Hunt. Lots of beast leaps. Oh, look at the damage. Look at the damage. Eat him, eat him, eat him, eat him. We're the top beast in this town. I'm going to get rid of these little guys. Avoid the steppies. And then go straight into the steppies. Holy crap! Look at this damage. Dash, dash. Stay near his face. Stay near his face. Dash through the poison. Through the poison. Those guys at the back can't get through. And then dash, dash. Yes, 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 yes. Easy fight. <laughs> it was a little bit too quick. But the way that I handle Chimera is when he goes into act into phase two. About to say act two. Phase two. Ravenlord, no! This isn't a magic run. It's physical. Um, when he goes into his second phase, she, I keep, is it a girl? Whatever. The big slam, you can jump to avoid it, you can dash to avoid it, whatever. But I like to stay up close to Chimera's face, not like right up there, but you know, in front of that second pillar. As long as you're in front of that second pillar, when she does the poison spray, dash through the poison spray, there might be one or two little enemies near you, you can kill them while the spray is charging up. Up to you. The enemies that come in the back, as long as you don't destroy the, the second pillar and open it up, they can't come and get you. So those two enemies that spawn in the back are just... <laughs> they're just there. Um, and then dash to avoid the slam and the poison that comes down from up high. 
that's how I handle that particular um, part of the fight. And uh, another shout out to Guide Part 3 if you want a more in-depth breakdown on the Chimera. We are here in Act 4. I haven't really said much about Act 4, but we're here. And we're trying to deal with Candle Guys. Kind of just moving all over the place. Let's activate Harpy. Let's dash. I need to come up here and get rid of this guy. Don't do what I'm doing. Get rid of the problem. The problem is the guy doing the ranged attacks. Let's get rid of him. Lots of leaping, lots of bleeding, lots of damage. And a lot of me getting hit. I need to be more conscientious. One of the bombing guys. No, don't do that. Of my movement. Because I'm moving so erratically, I'm getting hit by enemies that I don't want to get hit by. Rear blast. Godlike. Absolutely godlike. Rear blast. Um, I've covered this item, I don't know how many times already. But... Successful item attacks increase physical attack by 80% for 3 seconds. The idea of a successful item attack, I believe, would be something like Jagamon Thorn or Thief Armor. Thief Armor is probably the best one to pair it with, because half of your attacks now do an additional thing. Or, uh, do I have... I didn't even look. Do I have a Piercing Wind? I don't. Piercing Wind is also good for that. But this is a good chance to get rid of Gold Incense Burner. The itemization aspect is kind of coming full circle. There's very little left to do. Um, if I find Thieves Blacksteel Dagger, Hatestone gets replaced there because Hatestone is purely there for the madness effect at this point. It's not really doing much else for us. It is the weakest item that we have. I'm gonna stay down here, dude. I'm not going up there. I'm not going over there. You go over there. I'm not. I'm going over here. Nope. I don't want to fight you. Oh, statues. Lots of, lots of damage. Lots of, oh, damage. Destroy this floor. Destroy this floor. Screw your floor. Dash, dash. Get through that. I saw you, buddy. I saw you charging that up. Cleave our way through here. I have a little bit of... I wouldn't say a lot of disposable income, but I have enough that I can... 710 gold. God, you better give me something worth it. Mana Eater. After using a skill, the next normal attack deals additional physical damage. That's actually not bad. The problem... is that there's nothing I want to replace. Literally, this little, uh, let's see, one, this whole middle section, three, four, five, six items are for the madness. Rear Blast, we're not getting rid of, period. It's too good to pass up. Infinite Bone, no-brainer. It'd be the Execution Axe. So I want to get rid of a flat 40% physical attack for a basic attack, a normal attack amplifier? Nah. The damage that you get from it is actually pretty nice from Mana Eater, but the problem is... Um, Mana Eater only affects basic attacks. Execution Axe is boosting our skills as well as our swap-in. It's just better overall for our character. Not to say that uh, Mana Eater isn't a good item. It's a, it's a decent item. But it's not what we're after. Ninja Mask, Clown Surprise, Mage's Mana Bracelet. I don't see our last mana, uh, our last Madness item, our Thieves Blacksteel Dagger. Oh, it's not there either. That's sad. Let me do one more reroll. Wind arm is okay. Yeah, no luck. That's fine. We can move on. Um, actually, what I might consider doing. What's this? Increases dash distance. Fantastic. Let's get some food. Let's get some food. Let's move on. You, Mr. Candle Dude, die. No. Whoa. Careful with those those. Bee sleeps. The bee sleeps really send you far, don't they? Thankfully, our basic attack is doing just tremendous war. Tremendous damage. Don't blow up on me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Waiting for the bomber guys to be done. Get these candle looking dudes. Uh, money versus skull. Mm. I still have to get some skulls for Ryder. It's not mandatory at this point. I'm not even using Ryder. But in case I do for the hero fight or for the Joan fight, let's take a skull room just in case. Knock that wall down. Yeah, that's right. That's right. You like that? You like? Yeah, you like that? Yeah, lots of speed. Lots of speed. Let's activate Harpy. Come up here and get rid of these guys. Dodge that. I see dudes back down here that I've missed. Die. There we go. Doing well, doing well. Ah, damn, I, th I, th I wasn't sure if it was going to do that. Sure enough, it did that. 
I wanted to try and kill him quickly by putting the debuff on him from Hunt, but no. Of course not. I fall down. Hello, dudes. I'm going to bait you guys into blowing yourselves up. How about that? I might just do some basic attacks to prevent myself from... Oh, dash out. From falling up off the edge there. Luckily, our basic attacks do a lot of damage. Item room instead of the regular money room. Fantastic. Hunt. Leap. Leap. Watch out. Leap. I'm going to bait his attack. Oh, he's going to do this. Da -da 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 -da. Bait his attack. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting. Hit him. Same with these guys. Bait the attacks. Come in. Do a skill. Run away. Nope. Do a skill. Nope. Do a skill. There we go. <laughs> You can kind of play with them. You can, you can, you can joust. Do a skill. Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna. Skill, skill. He's dead. Ah, oh, I didn't dash fast enough. Should get away from that faster. I was being greedy. Item. Explosive arrow. Explosive arrow does synergize with our uh, thief armor. Ah, but is it worth getting rid of execution axe? I would say no. No. It, it's... It's a fun meme, but I'm gonna stick to the... I'm gonna stick to a fairly basic item set for my uh, werewolf. I, well, I shouldn't say basic. It's hardly basic. Full madness is pretty nice. There we go. Oh, the candle dudes. These guys are so annoying. They hit me the most out of most enemy Out of just about every enemy in Act 4. These guys hit me the most. All right, Harpy, bam! Oh, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna yeet! Lots of mobility. Oh, I should have kept an eye on the spear guy in the back. That was my bad. Bait it. Do an attack. Yep. Bait it. Do an attack. Get out. Bait it. Do an attack. Yep. Kill him. Now this guy is dead. <laughs> Sword dudes are kind of tricky for for werewolf, from what I'm seeing now. Mage's Meta Bracelet, on the other hand, is a very nice item to have. It increases skill cooldown speed by 120% for 10 seconds every 8 skills used. That synergizes very well with Infinite Bone, because Infinite Bone is resetting our skills, and we have a very spammy skill with Beast Sleep, which we can use a lot. Um, by the way, Beast Sleep can let you get up a little bit higher if you're looking to cheese some areas. Um, I would say that overall, resetting skills and being able to spam skills more using my skills more will offset the 40% uh, damage that I've just lost on physical from the axe. Very worth it for me. Very worth it indeed. Who do we get? Who is our damn... Ah, it's the priest girl. She's okay. I was worried it was going to be the the archer girl again. I'm sick of getting the archer girl. Or the mage, because I can't hit her very well. I believe she always starts the fight by summoning a... Yeah, she always does an attack there. Let's... Come over here and bully her a little bit. Don't do it, lady. Oh, she wants to shoot me with lasers. Is that the wall? Are you summoning the wall? Nah, 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 lady. God, that's a that's a throwback, isn't it? There's the heal. There's the wall. She hasn't teleported yet, so I don't even care about the wall right now. She is putting me in a tricky spot, though, isn't she? Spam some damage on this wall. There we go. Alright, she's doing her, her ultimate move. Oh, she's poisoned. Whoa, look how pretty that looks when she's poisoned. She is invincible for this. Oh, I don't know why I jumped for that attack. So there's no use trying to hit her. Lady. Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, that's a bad spot to put that. Why would you put that there? Yo. Yo, you're mad annoying. There we go. <laughs> oh, damn. Die. <laughs> um, yeah, she can be irritating. But, like, she's not... She's not, like, super, super hard. She's just annoying. All right. Die right, circle it. Troll. Alchemist. Let's sell the alchemist. Get those fragments. We're close. We're, like... What, 13 away? Alright, we have a skull room and a regular money room. Take the skull room. If we're lucky, I might get a unique. and Or I might just fall because I I dashed instead of jumping first for some unknown reason. Owies, dude. 
Yeah, that's right. Beals makes big, dumb mistakes a lot as well. Dash through that. Werewolf is a little bit risky in some of these big on-the-fence areas. Hey, look at that! Ninja! Fantastic! Exactly what I was hoping for. A unique to get rid of. I could have kept Ninja and upgraded him, but... I've already, I've already like, been carrying Ryder around. How rude would it be to carry Ryder around this whole time? And then not even upgrade him and just, just... Toss him aside at the end. That'd be so rude, wouldn't it? No. Bait the bombs, bait the bombs. Candle dudes are hiding behind the walls over there. It's kind of annoying. There you go, buddies. It's gonna make me work for this, isn't it? There we go. Destroy these annoying things. I'm gonna go get rid of the other one too, just so I can get rid of both of those uh, enemies at the same time. There we go. Avoid the candle dude. Stupid candle dude. Get my harpy activated. Spam my way across the screen. Ah, oh, that other candle guy hit me? Are you serious? How dare you? <gasps> that aim though! Holy crap! Item is... <laughs> <laughs> there are no words. There are no words. Yo, the movement. The schmooving. Oh, can I bait him? Can I bait him? Off you go, buddy. Yeah, you don't have to actually worry about the big dude there very much if you can just stand on the other side. Those fireballs from the sky are being very annoying, though. Very annoying. Indeed. Oh, this room. This room is a bit of a pain as well. They like to give you these rooms where one especially annoying enemy is given a shield, i.e. the, the assassin in this one. <laughs> and... I'm moving around trying to avoid the assassin and do werewolf things, but it's not its not super easy because werewolf is all over the screen. No, buddy. I'm just baiting him to, to do mistakes. Where is he? If I start hitting him, he's screwed. There we go. Hello, big man. Little dude hit me because he's a bastard. There we go. Die, all of you. Come into the shop, and we are sadly low on... Oh, there's pr uh, Prisoner. That'd be a nice uh, secondary speed skull. One that you don't need to invest any bone fragments in. However, this one has Frost Crossbow... And, uh, Frost Crossbow. Frost Crossbow. And the Explosive Bomb, which are both magic damaging. If you had the shield and the sword, then yes. Pick up the odd soup. I've been getting hurt. Owies. Do a re-roll. None of these are the madness items. There it is. There's... Oh my god. And, and Thieves Black Steel Dagger. Woohoo. Let's get rid of Hate Stone. Fantastic. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> so, Thieves Black Steel Dagger is, in my opinion, the best item in the game. It works on every single build. It doesn't matter about madness or piercing wind. The base effect that it has, bump my table, sorry if you heard that, is that it increases our critical chance uh, by 2% three seconds stacking up to 20 times let me go to the dummy um this just means that it stacks up to a 40 percent critical damage in look look at this it's not big numbers but it's lots of numbers it's lots of numbers which just means that items like jagamon thorn get really good uh benefits from it okay misters I want to destroy that totem. Give me that attack pal. Give me that attack pal. This room's kind of like... It's slow. But I don't find it especially difficult. Damn, we are, we are chunking these guys. Damn, that's, that's really nice. Damn. <laughs> that's really good. Alright, what do we get? Manatech Circulator. At this point, as far as items are concerned, um... 
it's it's mostly done, right? This is a full madness build. We've got Harpy, we've got Infinite Bone. There's virtually nothing else that I want, so I'm just going to take whatever doors are given to me. I don't need Skull Rooms either. We've already guaranteed that Ryder is going to get to Legendary. I'm just kind of baiting enemies and staying out of harm's way. Hit you with that, hit you with that. I shouldn't have dashed ahead of him, but I was being greedy. Come down here. Get this healery looking dude up here first. Right, let me bait some attacks. He's gonna... Oh, they're both doing it. Oh, that's bad timing. Are you gonna... Are you gonna poke? Yep. Let me come away. Let me dash out of the way of that. Yep. And move away. Yep. There we go. I know in my other videos, you'll see me fight them differently. Like, I just kind of, like, go in and go ham... <coughs> and go ham, excuse me. But... For the purposes of this video, I want to show off a little bit more how some of these annoying guys can be dealt with, especially the spear dude. A lot of people are all like, yo, the spear guys in Act 4? How? They're annoying. And they are annoying. It's just about uh, understanding their attack, baiting their attack. Yo, more speed for werewolf? That's illegal. Damn, that is illegal. You could serve hard time for something like that. No. No. Candle guy. I refuse your candle. Uh, bone hourglass? Meh. I don't care. 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 I'm not even using Rider. This is just an example. You don't... By the way. By the way. It's just a... Yeah, yeah. It's just occurred to me. By the way. Just because I've done 99% of this run as only werewolf does not mean you need to. Don't do... Don't do that. I'm gonna swap to Rider to start the fight, so I can swap into Werewolf and get that swap power. Um, most definitely use both skulls. People have some... Some of you have asked me about using my secondary skulls and, like, you know, how how often do you use your, your swap, etc. All the time. All the time. If you want to have the best chances at, um, you know, playing well, succeeding, and not dashing into Jones' attack while you're explaining, um, use your secondary skulls. They're there for a reason. They're very... Watching what she does, yes. She puts the staff up before she slams it on down. Oh, bomber, guys. Statue. Get on the other side of it. Oh, another statue. Scared. Oh, beam. Bomber guy. Scared. Scared. Gonna dash through and use my, my beast sleep because beast sleep has invincibility on it. There we go. First one's down. Oh, watch out. Watch out. I see a candle guy. Get rid of the candle guy. Fear, my dude, fear. I'm a scared. <laughs> Doing my best to... Yep, there we go. Okay. Um, candle guys and bomb guys are the worst for this fight in the first phase, in my opinion. The uh, statues may or may not give you issues, depending on your, your ability to avoid them, your situation. Is that a beam? It is beam. I don't know why I activated a harpy there. I should have waited. Until she'd already moved. Oh, here we go. Dash, dash. Do a B sleep. B sleep is invincible. There we go. We have options. Oh, I kind of want to... Yep, get rid of that little dude. Beam. Should have avoided it. Uh, what's this? Oh, it's the homing thing. So I'm going to lead it on a merry little chase. Up and over, up and over, up and over. And then this? God, you're mad annoying. I'm just going to sit here for a second. Wait for the explosion. Wait for the explosion. Harpy, I'm going to stand here. That should be safe. Should be safe. Oh, and then this? Okay, stand in the middle. There we go. No. Got clipped by the orb. I'd rather get clipped by the orb than clipped by the, the beam. Beam is way worse to get hit by. And then this. I can safely sit down here and just avoid everything. Lady, you mad annoying. There. People have told me that this is a man. I don't know if I agree that, that Saint Joan the Second is a man. Okay, we're back. Small cut there. Small cut there. But we're still here. Nothing's changed. I just had to go and do something, but we're still here. Nothing has changed. Let's move on. Let's move on. Joan went okay. What was the last thing I said? 
Male? Female? I don't know. I thought Joan was a woman. It sounds like a woman. Let's upgrade Ryder, finally, um, for the very last fight. This is kind of why, even if you do get really lucky on Bones, maybe it's too hard to do double legendaries at the same time. But then again, we do have uh, full madness still. So, I mean, it can't be that bad, right? Nice. Come on. Come on, statues. I don't have all day. I need to slay you all and move on. Bleed. Bleed and die. Bleed and suffer. Look at him go. Look at him. <laughs> I wonder why he's like... Not using that other arm. <laughs> oh, well. In the sh- Ho, ho, ho! A little bit of Shadow Knights. Ooh. Now, I mean, full madness with Harpy. It's a lot of attack speed, right? It's a lot of attack speed. Do I want to take... Do I want to take Shadow Knights? I might take Shadow Knights just for the sake of it. I mean, Harpy is good. Don't get me wrong. Harpy is synergizing really well with the full madness. But I don't get to use Shadow Knights all that often. But then again. Then again, Hawaiian Pizza. Okay. Okay. Let's do the smart thing, all right? If if I were you, or you were me, let's take the pizza and take the health route and avoid the Shadow Knights. It's sad, it's unfortunate, I know, but our contestants is actually good. If we don't have to replace it, and it's not going to make, you know, a world's difference, then that's okay. If you are on Half-Life and you're coming up to the hero fight and you have Shadow Knights available and you say to yourself, Nah, I'm fine. This is good. Uh, like I normally would have. <laughs> Go for it. But this is just me showing an example that it doesn't have to be that way. You can you can take safe routes. You can pick food. You can pick uh, life and living. Because, you know, what's the point in getting up to the hero fight if you're going to be dead anyway when you get there? Lots of schmoovin'. Lots of schmoovin'. Is he dead? Is he dead? There's no way you're dead, right? Oh, oh, lightning. Okay, he's dead. Oh, wait, there's uh, more statues, right? I thought we were done there. Are you dead? Are you also dead? Huh? Are, are you are you also dead? Oh, no. No? Die. Ha-ha! <laughs> God, werewolf player. Anyway, same dealie. I'm going to start on Ryder. I don't know how much of Ryder I'm going to use for the fight, but... Let's just go. Let's just do it. Let's fight the big hero, dude. Hello, daddy. Our daddy coughing blood. <laughs> Daddy's not well. So we are lucky in that werewolf's uh, beast sleep has invincibility on it, right? But I don't know if I want to exclusively just use beast sleep and cheese the fight. Like, because you can, you can like leap around and, and like just get away with some easiness. Run away from him. No. No, there's another- oh, he's doing more, he's doing more. Alright, he's- oh, over here. Dash past him. I find that dashing past him is normally always the safe route. So we're attacking him, dash past him, he's putting his sword up. Oh, oh, slow dashes. Gotta be faster than that. Gotta be faster than that, bulls. I didn't get a chance to capitalize on my hunt. Oh yeah, we don't want to be in that. We don't want to be in that, that's a bad attack. Yeah. Oh, oh, don't slam on me, dude. Oh, there we go. I want to get over this side. The lightning seems to occur more around him. So if we... Oh Go, stop. If we... Ugh. If we bait lightning to one side, that's good. Over here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's going to fire a line. Yeah. Are you done? Now he's done. Dash through the orbs. Oh ho! You thought, Daddy. Pop my contestants. Uh huh. I'm gonna do some beast sleeps. Beast sleeps. Beast sleeps. Beast sleeps. Oh, oh, that's a big slash. Oh, it hits on both sides. I forgot. I haven't seen that move in a long time. Ah, uh, you want to be away from him. That's that's all I can say is that it's safest to not be near him. Which is kind of hard because you know 90% of the skulls in the game want to be. Oh, no, we're not dealing with that. Want to be up close. 
that's just the way that it goes sometimes. Dash away from that. Sit in the corner. Keep an eye on where the red is. If the red's on you, dash. If the red's not on you, don't. Same deal with this. Dash. 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 It's like a rhythm, you know? You see the white? Flash, flash, flash. And you can just avoid damage that way. But it, you being mad annoying right now, okay? Can you? Can you? But do you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing? I'm like waiting for him to finish an attack. I go in, I hit him. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, I've seen that there's a lot of recovery on that, so I can get two skills in. Nope. Nope, he's, he's just, he's still swinging. Okay, now, yep. Get away. No, that third orb was like, nah, fam, I'm not doing this anymore. <laughs> that third orb did not care. <laughs> no. Oh, stay away. He's going to do a big slash after this. I remember that much. Get some cheeky hits in. Move away. Oh, yep. Schmoovin', schmoovin'. Got to keep moving. Doing this again. Dash. There we go. There we go. It's largely going to be the same in phase two, okay? Largely going to be the same in phase two. But at the very beginning, he always summons swords. All right. Now he's going to do his sword attacks. Wait for him to dash to you. Dodge past him. Dodge past him. Dodge past him. Unless he does that. All right, the beams. Just dodge through the beams. Dodge through the beams. Dodge through the beams. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. He's going to come down and we just need to find a oh, spot to stand. I guess that's safe enough. All right. He's wounded. Get him while he's wounded. Whoa, get away from that. Come in, get a cheeky hit. Is that sword summoning? Oh, he's doing this. All right. All right. This is mad annoying. If you have a hard time with this, I don't blame you. I'm going to get hit a bunch here. The secret that I want to say is to just always be dashing past him onto the other side of him, but... Easier said than done. The sky is pretty safe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, dash through this. Double dash. Double dash through that. Big explosion. Summoning swords. Get some hits in while he's summoning swords. Dash past that. Oh, I thought it was the... Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, slamming. He's got more swords to pick up yet. He's got more swords to pick up, buddy. Dodge the beam. Oh, dodge that. Yo, did that... Oh, I was going to say, did that miss me? Dodge out of the way... Yeah, it's kind of hard to avoid that if it's bad RNG. Get him while he's wounded. Kill the beast while he's weak. Oh, yo, that's a rough attack to avoid. I apologize. That's a rough attack to avoid. We've made mistakes. We made heaps of mistakes. We got hit a lot. But we're still okay. Considering that we're only using Werewolf on a Madness build that wants to be physical... This is much easier on, like, range-ish skulls. If you've seen, like, my, my Frost run from just before, even Berserker was okay. Now we can kind of do this a little bit easier with Werewolf because Werewolf can move around so much. Yo, Dad is actually keeping up with this pace. You're insane, dude. We can kind of just... Oh. Now, he doesn't cough blood for anywhere near as long in this phase as he does... Ah, uh, see, look, he's baiting me. He's pretending. You don't really have an illness, do you? Well done. And there we go. Yeah! Swing on him! Okay, there's your two-in-one. There's a werewolf run, a werewolf-only run, 90% of the time only werewolf, and also kind of like a DIY, how do I build a skull? That was kind of, uh, that was my first time playing a Madness werewolf build since the release. It works out pretty well, but you could also build it with all raw physical, like I mentioned earlier in the run, um, to do harder hits, as opposed to spamming basic attacks and, you know, doing lots of quick attacks. Uh, it depends on what's easier for you. If you find that you can kill bosses and fight enemies better by being up in their face and spamming attacks. But otherwise, probably the safer route is what power skulls do, which is to joust. Go in, use a skill or two, run away. Wait for the cooldowns or swap skulls. Use your skills, run away. It's entirely up to you, but that should hopefully give you an idea of my thought process, my reasoning, and kind of like how I go about building a, a run if I have a particular skull in mind, 
But with all of that said and done, I do hope you guys enjoyed. I hope that it was informative and that you've learned, I don't know, something to make your runs a little bit easier, maybe, perhaps. Or maybe you just want to see Werewolf and you're happy with that. <laughs> anyway, I gotta get out of here. I'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.